before. Okay. It looks like, I don't know, I might have missed that first, uh, that first bit. Um, that is, the people not watching it live won't see that first bit. Anyway, we're talking about the accusative of extent. Line 50, for example. Only two feet long? Why is the sword so short? Julius. Quod gladius brevis, non tam gravis est quam gladius longus. Because a sort, a short sword is not so heavy as a long sword. As a long sword. So we have the the comparison, the non tam gravis quam gladius longus. It's not so heavy. And then we get into the comparative proper. Gladius equitis longior et gravior est quam peritis. The sword of the cavalrymen is longer and heavier than the sword of the, the foot soldier. Okay. So let's let's take a look at Okay. Um good that I have one a comment from one person from Danielle. Thank you. Let's take a look at our our whiteboard here and maybe you know hopefully this is obvious what I'm looking at here is the material on page bottom of page 92 what's happening on the bottom of page 92 well we get the positive we've been having the positive degree of the adjective what's the positive degree of the adjective well, it looks like this. Longus a um. Hope y'all can see that. Longus a um. That's the positive degree of the adjective. Long. And then we talk about the comparative degree of the adjective, which looks like this. Longior. Longius. And you can see on the bottom of page 92 that right, it's not just these two endings, but you get all the, all the cases. There is a chart for the masculine and feminine and a chart for the neuter. So longior and longius. And then in a subsequent chapter, we're going to see the superlative degree. And just for some context, this is what that looks like. Longissimos a um. Longissimus aum. That's what, that's what the superlative degree looks like. So we know this now, and this. Okay. And what about, what about a third declension adjective, which we're seeing for the first time also in this chapter. Well, here's the positive degree. It has two sets of endings. It has a masculine and a feminine set, and it has a, it has a neuter set. You can see all of those endings, again, on the top of page 92. And it does a similar thing when it goes, I mean, it does really the exact same thing when it goes into the comparative degree. Brevior. Brevius. Okay. And then... We'll see in a later chapter the superlative degree, brevissimus a um. Okay, so that's the, sorry about that, trailing off the bottom there, brevissimus a um. But that's still to come. So this is what we know so far. Yeah, and the thing to remember about these, uh, about these third declension let's start with the third declension adjectives like brevis if you look at the top of page 92 long i in the ablative i u m in the genitive plural i u m in the genitive plural okay then compare that with the bottom of page 92 short e in the ablative singular U-M 
in the genitive plural. Always like that. Now, there are there are irregular adjectives, um, as we'd expect. Like just like we have in English, good, better, best, as opposed to long, longer, longest, which follows a regular pattern. So we have to we'll we'll get to those when uh, when they come up. Okay, that's just to let you know there. There are those out there. We haven't had any like that yet. I mean, we've had an adverb, bene, male, <clears throat> which is a little bit irregular, but uh, we haven't had any irregular adjectives yet. Okay. So that's all we need to say about that. It's just a matter of learning it. So he goes on, Julius goes on, line 54, Pérez, Qui pedibus it, a foot soldier who goes on foot, sort of location, sort of means, probably the grab bag ablative, multaque alia arma fer, and carries many other weapons, gladium longum et gravem fere non potest, cannot carry a long, heavy sword. That's a case where probably the conjunction, we don't need the we don't need to retain that conjunction in English, but we get it in Latin, and we probably pull it apart in in uh, in English. A long, comma heavy sword. Itaque gladius eius brevis et levis es. Therefore, his sword is short and light. Brevior et levior, quam is qui ab equite fertor. Shorter and lighter. Again, the comparative degree of the adjectives then that is notice the that there it's short for what for is gladius is gladius then that sword which is carried by a cavalryman etiam gladi quia germanis feruntur also the swords which are carried by the germans longiores there you see the nominative plural are longer and heavier graviores sunt quam romanorum are longer and heavier than the Romans swords. What's left out there? Swords, yeah, than the Roman swords, and the swords of the Romans. Ac pila eorum and their spears. Now we see the neuter degree. The neuter degree. And their spears are longer and heavier than ours are. Okay. Julia says, Qui sunt Germani? Who are the Germans? Julius. Germani sunt. Oh, sorry, we got that. We got that ac. Don't want to miss that, right? Ac there in the margin. Atque. I'm looking at line, um, line 59. Uh, just another word for and. You can see you get the spelling variation, kind of like with ah or ob. <coughs> um, okay. We get the atque before vowels and words that begin with H, and the ach before words that begin with consonants. Okay. Who are the Germans? Julius. Germani sunt homines barbari. The Germans are barbarous people, persons, human beings, qui Germaniam incolunt. Notice how this verb incolere takes the direct object. Okay, so it's not like habitare, to live in, with in plus the ablative, but it's incolere with the direct, with the direct object. Okay. And we get, from this word, we get the word cultivation. And, and so this is the transfer, and to live there, to live there. Okay. Germania is mania terra, non procul a Gallia. Germany is a large land, 
not far from Gaul. Gallia autem, provincia romana est. Gaul, however, is a Roman province, like ut Hispania, like Hispania, Syria, and Egyptus. Provincia est pars imperii romani, a province, as we know, right? Uh, from back in chapter 1, a province is part of the Roman Empire. Pars, partis, a third third declension noun, feminine ending, as preceded by consonant, we expect to be feminine. Pars, partis, is, is part of the Roman Empire, as a limb, membrum, as pars corporis, is part of the body. Roma enim caput imperii est. For Rome is the head of the empire. The provinces, provinciae, membra sunt, are the, the members or the limbs. Germania non est provincia romana. Germany is not a Roman province. Flumen, reinus, flumen, fluminus, neuter, right? Now, third declension. The Rhine River, Germaniam Agalia Provincia Dividit. The Rhine River divides Germaniam, Germaniam, from the Gaul province. Okay, so that this is what they said, kind of like they said, they said, uh, I'm going to Tusculum Town, Tusculum Town. So notice. Gallia is not an adjective. Provincia is not an adjective. But they're being used together, just like we sometimes combine two nouns together to get an adjectival like, like idea of one of them. So you can see, divide the accusative from the ablative. Dividere. Short E family verb. Reinus ac Danuvius flumina. The Rhine and the Danube are rivers. There's that neuter plural, the short A, third declension. Que Germaniam ab Imperio Romano dividum. He's showing you the verb again. Which divide the accusative, Germany, from the Roman Empire. Fines Imperii nostri sunt. The Rhine and the Danube are the borders. Finis, this is a word, that finish, final, that sort of thing. Notice the spatial sense. They are the ends, that is, the boundaries, the borders of our empire. Imperi nostri, genitive, singular. Okay. Germania est patria germanorum. Germany is the fatherland the fatherland of the Germans. Patria, patriae, first declension now. As Rome is our fatherland, with Roma nostra patria est. Iulia, cur milites Romani contra Germanos pugnant? Why do the Roman soldiers fight against the Germans, contra, preposition, takes the accusative case, only the accusative case. All right. And remember, if anyone is watching right now and they have questions, and don't hesitate to, to speak up. We have a massive viewership of six viewers right now, so you might as well get your money's worth. Are the Germans bad folks? Sunt ne Germani homines improbi? Iulius, milites nostri contra Germanos pugnant. Quod Germani amici Romanorum non sunt. Our soldiers fight against the Germans because the Germans are not friends of the Romans. Well, that's quite a reason to fight someone. You're not friends? Okay. Nec Romanis Parren. There's another excellent reason not to, to fight someone. And they do not obey the Romans. We've had this verb before. 
imperar 